What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out top ten wrestlers secretly communicating in the ring by none other than wrestling flashback. Sorry, I wasn't able to get you guys a uh, AEW stream last night or an extra video um, last night. Uh, I just wasn't really feeling well. Was feeling under the weather. I'm still not a hundred percent. Took me some medicine, kind of chilled out last night. I'm feeling a little bit better than what I was yesterday. So I wanted to make sure I tried to at least get you guys some videos for today man so we're gonna check this out appreciate everyone that was wishing me get well wishes on instagram and twitter i really do appreciate that it means the world to me uh i just want to make sure i can consistently keep bringing you the content as much as i possibly can let's get right into this one this would be a good one a lot of times the cameras do pick up on the wrestlers actually communicating in the ring uh it, it takes some skill and talent to be able to to mask that properly where no one can really tell y'all are actually working together in the ring but let's get right into this video let's do the damn thing one, two, is this on? on one two I didn't do that. Communication between wrestlers in the ring is a vital component of a match. Even if a match has been well planned out, once it's underway, the wrestlers will still need to communicate back and forth. Most of this we don't hear, but there is plenty we do pick up on. And if you watch Botchamania, then you know that everyone talks mm -hmm. too much. <laughs> But some wrestlers are louder than others, so join us today as we'll look at 10 notable wrestlers known for communicating in the ring. <laughs> He's Number like, no, 10, I'm not all right. Show. We kick things off with the world's largest athlete. Given that show always wrestled people smaller than him, it was important for his matches to look believable. So it wouldn't be surprising if we saw the giant instructing the other wrestler or a group of wrestlers on what to do next. Oh, oh wow. Oh my God. That, that elimination always made me cringe. The way Cena landed, it just looked brutal on his knee. Oh, my God. Seth is wearing it, wearing the pan down. Oh, 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 oh. 450 pounds. <laughs> wow. It's crazy how well those cameras pick up on just the subtle, the subtle conversations. Number nine, Shawn Michaels. Before he found God, Michaels could be best described as a loose cannon. <laughs> Not before he found God. <laughs> Shawn was well known for getting angry in his matches back in the day, be it at his opponents or the staff around the ring. Wow. But HBK could also be heard calling his fair share of spots as well. Hits for the elbow. That's a classic match right here. Oh, that's when you say pose that way to the hard camera side. <laughs> The big red machine rarely wrestles anymore, but when he did, you may have seen him communicating with his opponent from time to time. Trying to do this may have been a problem for Kane at different points in his career though, as back when he used the voice box to speak, he would have had to make sure no one heard him calling the moves in the ring. While when Kane wore the full mask, his voice was typically muffled, which may have made it difficult for the other wrestlers to understand him. Mm -hmm. Oh. I mean, this his is like really quiet. Yeah, his is not that audible, in my opinion. Okay, I heard that one pretty clear. Number seven. Brock Lesnar. Lesnar is a man of few words when it comes to his promos. He does Definitely. his talking in the ring, figuratively and literally, you could say, as Brock can sometimes be caught speaking to his opponent on camera. Again, not to beat a dead horse, but the difference maker, the power! Damn. 
like a straw man. That club. Oh, oh, wow. oh yeah. A knee to the jaw. He caught Lesnar good. A knee to the jaw yeah, caught Brock good. And Brock yeah, he definitely. I remember watching that live. He definitely gave him some stiff ones. Like, slow the fuck down, bro. He gave him a stiff receipt. Those were some real punches. He just that quick. Just two little piece combo. Just that quick. Got him back. <laughs> That's funny. Say, so grab the bell. <laughs> Number six, Ryback. It's been a while since we've seen Ryback in action, so fans might have forgotten how loud the big guy could be when he was in the ring. And we're not just referring to the numerous things he would shout as a catchphrase. Ryback was also known for being vocal when communicating with his opponent. Hey, are you okay? He's got those massive legs wrapped around the world. <laughs> Former Royal Rumble winner. It's crazy. They, it seemed like they're communi communicating pretty well in the ring. You know, CM Punk and Ryback definitely had their uh, issues. <laughs> Dallas is Bo Dallas. Our big guy. Uh, oh. Take away so this is pretty vocal. Paige recently you can announced hear she would be well returning to the ring after previously being forced to retire. When she does step between the ropes again, one has to wonder if Paige's spot calling will still be as noticeable as it was during her previous run. Alicia. This Paige, though, you can't deny how impressive she's been. Whoa! There you go. Devastating. Still no she, oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> has an answer for everything Nikki's trying now. That's where you can't get frustrated. Paige has been on the run game plan by Paige. Damn. Damn, she's having a whole Nikki. conversation. Number four. Dolph Ziggler. Having a full Ziggler conversation in the ring. Ziggler has established himself as a WWE veteran, having wrestled nearly 2,000 matches for the company. His God veteran damn. status means he's usually the one calling the match, and this has led to Dolph regularly being heard directing traffic to his opponents. Oh, that was loud and clear. Can't stop now, Dolph. Can't stop now. <laughs> wow. It's like Dolph Ziggler. Green stacks him up, uses the ropes. Feels like superstars like Ziggler. Oh! Lynch is caught there in the middle turnbuckle. Oh, separate, now he catches Dolphin. Oh! Fire strikes and the man. And then Dragon's Breath, Khaleesi. Count! <laughs> or don't. Slight right hand. Corbin just took his sweet time there. Number three, Becky Lynch. Few wrestlers currently in WWE have carved out a better body of work for themselves in the past few years than Becky Lynch. And although she can often be heard calling out instructions to her opponent in the ring, this hasn't taken away from some of the great matches Becky has had. Nasty attitude, nasty personality. A cheap shot. Reversal. It's so crazy how these cameras the pick up on damn near Catches everything. Champion, putting on a clinic. <laughs> you hear Becky say, come closer, come closer. <laughs> In the top rope there. Becky walked out to the apron leader, Mrs. Wild. Number two, Triple H. Triple H has long since been described as a student of the game, wrestling a more old school style, being more inclined to call it in the ring rather than heavy plan out a match. Mm -hmm. This, especially in modern wrestling, increases the chances of the ringside cameras picking up what the wrestlers are saying to each other. And the game had that happen to him more than a few times. How do you do that? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I remember this clip. Yep. How do you get a show around, the camera was right up on it. <laughs> that was a good roll run with two. It's not just what he looks like, it's what he can do. Damn. But you pick their head on his face. Because it's a complete different match. Oh, man. that that match was just boring. <laughs> Number one, 
John Cena. Cena had to be number one, didn't he? John is so <laughs> famous for loudly calling spots in the ring yeah. that he's had his own yeah. feature on Botchamania for a number of years. Cena <laughs> digging down deep inside. <laughs> 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 God damn. Oh, and a high elbow caught John right in the jaw. It looked as if one time that he was actually. Uh... Oh. On Twitter is hashtag stretcher match. Qualify for the WWE World Title match. The World Heavyweight Champions for making him look that way. Bro, he is literally. You, it's, <laughs> you can hear it. Damn it, everything he's saying. Oh my God. In German, though. Is nothing but a pawn, but he's our pawn. And our plan is for you, Randy, to walk out. Damn. WWE fans here in Philadelphia. Those hostile fans. Oh. John Cena trying to power out of this sleeper hole. But now Roman Reigns with his full body weight. Cena has even publicly addressed his spot calling in the past and given quite a fair response. I'd rather be heard saying, hit me mother <laughs> than saying nothing and have crickets. And that brings us to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video- I get what he's saying there, but it's at the same time. Uh, it's crazy because when you watch the older school, like old school clips, they didn't really call too many spots in the match. It was, it's, I don't know how they were doing it, like the old school wrestling, they didn't really call too many, uh, spots it was just more i don't know how they did that shit i don't know how they were able to like, have these type of matches of course i'm sure they called spots but they were so subtle and granted the technology back then on the cameras weren't the same as they are now today so obviously you could possibly get away with a little bit more calling the spots or is it was probably less heard of though but once again, this is what it is in wrestling. Uh, obviously, they got to find a way to, you know, hide it better. But, you know, when you got these thousand dollar cameras, you know, it's, it's, it's damn near kind of impossible to do that. So uh, comment down below. Let me know, man. Have you ever been to like a wrestling show for all my fans, uh, not fans, subscribers that's been to a wrestling show? Have you ever been to a wrestling show and actually heard the wrestlers in the ring, if you were close enough, call spots? Let me know down below which show it was, what wrestling match it was. Uh, I would like to get y'all opinion on that. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel, man. I'm, I'm so very thankful for you guys. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next week. Peace.